Loading the filament. So this is a Bowden tube style 3D printer, which means that the extrusion motor is separate from the hot end. So we've got to feed in the filament all the way through to this point, and there are a couple points in here where it could actually get hung up or jammed, uh, which would cause when you start to print the filament not feeding or flowing through. So we need to prepare our filament before we load it into our 3D printer. Do that by taking it off the spool, cutting back a little section, uh, so you got a nice clean end. What you want to do is take it and straighten it out so you don't have any kind of unusual tight curves or bends that could cause that to get hung up as it goes through the Bowden tube. Next, you need to prepare the tip. Think of it like a pencil sharpener. As it's going through the tube and enters from the tube into here, it can get caught on a little ridge, which is right inside there. So you want to eliminate any of those problems by just taking a pair of side cutters, or you could even use fingernail clippers if that's what you have around the house, and just kind of clip around the four sides to create a bit of a tip on it. Now that you have a tip on it, what we need to do is preheat the extrusion head. It needs to be hot in order to feed the plastic on through. To preheat the extrusion head, what we need to do is make sure that we are connected and green over here. Slide on over to manual control. Right over here is our extruder temperature. Right here, the black dot is our current temperature. This line is our target temperature, and you can see the red line through here, which means it is off. Simply click on that, and now the extruder is on. When this black dot meets our target temperature, we are ready to feed the filament. Another thing that we need to do is go ahead and raise our Z axis up on the 3D printer. This will allow the filament to come out the bottom. We can clean the tip and make sure it's fully primed. So I'm gonna go ahead and move that up 10 millimeters so we have a visual reference. So take the end of the filament that we just prepared, the temperature is up on our extrusion head and we lifted it up. All we're going to do is right back here on the clamp is go ahead and pull this in which allows us to feed the filament through and you're going to see it come up through the tube and when it starts entering the extrusion head I'm going to turn it sideways and we're going to keep pushing it until we see some plastic squirt out the bottom. Now if you don't see plastic uh, coming out the bottom you might have gotten hung up on that extrusion head that we talked about. Just go ahead and pull it back a few times and just kind of push it through and you'll feel it pop through and you should be able to see it go all the way through the extrusion head and you can see it squirting out the bottom which means we're primed and ready to use. Go ahead and go in there with a pair of tweezers, clear off the excess plastic. Don't use your hand because it is hot and you're ready to print.